If I title this video something like, Some Fedora Spins Finally Kill Off Exorg, that would be a completely accurate title. However, it would hide the absolute hilarity of what is actually happening. Which spins is it? Is it the GNOME spin? Is it the KDE spin? Nope, absolutely not. They still support Exorg and are probably going to for the foreseeable future. Probably until GNOME actually drops Exorg, so like GTK5 I would assume. What it actually is, is the Sway spin and it's a mutable counterpart. Wait, hold on a second. Why in the world does the spin with Sway have Exorg support? Sway only runs under Wayland. Is it possibly because of X Wayland? Nope, that support is still there and is not going away. Okay then, so why in the world was it shipping Exorg? It clearly doesn't need it. Well, for one very simple reason. Because of the Display Manager, otherwise known as the Login Screen. So until very, very recently, there weren't really that many options for a native Wayland Display Manager. Personally, I don't like Display Managers. I just log out my system and then just log in from the TTY. For me, totally fine. When I log in, I just have a script automatically run. It just boots to my desktop. If I was going to use one, I'd probably use the TTY option LY. But there are other options out there that do have GUIs and do support Wayland. The biggest one being GDM, the GNOME Display Manager. The problem with this is it's a GNOME application. So it's going to look like a GNOME application and it's going to be fairly limited in the kind of customization that can be done. Your other option is GreetD. This is a daemon that runs in the background that splits out the UI into these things called greeters. And some of these greeters do actually run in a native Wayland mode. And until very recently, this was pretty much all you had available. But the problem with Sway and Seracia is they were using SDDM. And since about 2015, yes, I said the year correctly, SDDM has been slowly working on Wayland support. It's taken a while, it's taken quite a while, but they're basically there. In fact, they've been basically there for quite a while. Now, up until about a week or so ago, the latest release of SDDM was November 3rd, 2020. Since that point, there has not been a single extra release. Then... We get this one, four days ago, 0.20. And as you may have spotted from that giant list of changes, there's a giant list of changes. This includes two and a half years of patches. Included in this is a change from years back, 2021, Wayland Display Server. Introduce a new display server option to run the greeter with. In the future, this will be the default display server. This patch contains the most important parts to get the grid running on Wayland, but it's not possible to select a keyboard layout. At the moment, the Wayland socket is assumed to be Wayland-0, but in a multi-seat configuration, we would have more than one grid to running, each with a different socket, and the assumption won't work anymore. In the future, we'll figure out how to do this. After all, at the moment, this is considered enough for most people. Most people are not running a multi-seat system. They are the only person logging onto that computer. Even though this was added with the 0.20 release, that doesn't mean it is completely done. Mark Wayland support as experimental. The readme has changed to clarify the existing Wayland reference is about the launch sessions. So, SDDM is a modern display manager for X11 and Wayland sessions aiming to be fast, simple, and beautiful. Here it says experimental, and then also it says experimental here as well. Yeah, it's still not in a perfect state and probably still needs a bit of development. I don't know, maybe 5-10 years from now, it'll be out of the experimental stage. I have no idea. But the functionality is there. Now you might be thinking, wait, SDDM just added the feature 4 days ago. What in the world have I been using all of this time? So there are some distros out there that were cherry picking patches or just shipping a Git version of SDDM that had the functionality already available. So in that case, this might not seem that surprising. And in the case of Fedora, they were thinking of doing exactly the same thing to get rid of Xorg on Sway all the way back when Fedora 38 came out. Seracia and Sway spin Xorgless. 
at the moment, Seracia and Spacebin ship with Xorg X11 packages. This proposal aims to remove Xorg X11 packages from such artifacts. Very simple change. I don't see any possibility it actually fails. At the moment, Seracia and Spacebin require the installation of Xorg X11 due to the use of SDDM X11. When we started working on Fedora 38, we were not fully convinced on the stability of SDDM Wayland, so we opted for the safer bet, SDDM X11. Though since Sway is Wayland only, it would make sense for Seracia and Swayspin to prefer the use of SDDM Wayland Sway. Basically, using SDDM and then rendering the display manager using Sway so you don't need this extra XORG thing just to make it work. My absolute favorite part is the benefit to Fedora. This change will allow Seracia and Swayspin artifacts to ship without XORG X11. So the thing that only supports Wayland only ships with Wayland. Like something had to be written here. Something. And like, wait, um, let's just say what it does. Like there's no other benefit here. It's just the thing that it does is the benefit. Maybe you could say it makes the install distro a little smaller. It makes the ISO a little smaller. There's one less package to worry about, but like you're just trying to find the absolute tiniest little reasons why this is going to be beneficial. Like this is one of those changes that I have no idea why they even need to get it approved. Like who is going to say, hey, don't do that. Like so far only positive feedback has been provided on this issue. How in the world could anyone knock down this issue? I don't think it's possible. Maybe someone has a reason, but I don't know what it is. The only possible thing I could think of is maybe there is some bug the developers just didn't notice because maybe it doesn't happen on their hardware. It's only on some weird random hardware configuration that it actually, you know, maybe hard locks or something like that. In that case, sure. But besides that, I'm pretty sure this is going to happen with Fedora 39. Even if you're someone who just doesn't like Wayland, this is one of those changes that cannot even be remotely controversial. It is a Wayland system for Wayland users. It should probably only be shipping Wayland. If you really want to have Xorg there, like it's going to be in the repos, you can still go and install it, but it probably shouldn't be shipped with the distro. Like imagine this in another way. Maybe you have a distro that is an open RC system and just randomly the distro maintainers include some system D packages. Why are they there? No one knows. Should they be there? Probably not. So the best option is just get rid of it. Now, I found this story from Pharonix, and the Pharonix comment section never disappoints. Doesn't surprise me. Fedora is the macOS of Linux distros. Sure, sure, uh, sure, <laughs> sure. Whatever. I, I always love going to Phronix comments. I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Just don't take it as like a serious thing. Go in there expecting nothing but comedy and you will not be disappointed. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down. I don't know what you're going to let me know your thoughts on. Do you use SDDM? What, do you use a display manager? Do you use LY? Let me know what you use. I would love to know. So if you like the video, go like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one over, these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, Scribe, Silly Bear Pay, linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me and S D D M O W. No, that's not a good joke. I'm not going to redo that. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. What? <laughs>